it's not even dark. That is a big thing at the moment. When tough souls are famous for late starts and suddenly there is no more daylight in the evenings. Not great for tough souls. So welcome to Malakmi, Ireland's largest beach forest plantation. Indeed, and Ireland's smallest county high point. It's uh, 278 meters tall at the peak, which is uh, not very tall. What is that in terms of like GAA pitches? <laughs> <laughs> One? No, two GAA pitches? I have no idea. It's actually got quite a lot going for it. Yeah. It has this lovely, lovely forest that we're really excited to go and see. Um, We've only been here about five minutes and I think this is going to be a great place to recommend. Yeah, there's a tree right behind the camera dripping, so that's what the noise is in case you're wondering. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> also winter and rainy. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be good. Mm. Let's just get moving. Yeah, sounds great. So what do you think of this place? It is really beautiful and yeah. really quiet. Yeah. It's like so, so peaceful. Yeah. And it's amazing because there's loads of other people here technically. Yeah. And yet I still feel like I'm here all the time. Even for Ireland, it's a very small peak, but it feels like it's about 400 meters taller than it is. Um, I have been on much taller mountains that feel smaller than this one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great spot. Right. to go. Ten out of ten. There's not that many places in Ireland that are prettier than this one. Um, yeah. If you're looking for a lovely forest walk, yeah, this is the walk you've been looking for. Yeah, it's incredible. 
Um, there's enough here for a reasonable day out with the kids, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah. As long as they're happy to walk around with you. Yeah, throw um, leaves in the air. And <laughs> exactly, yeah, jump into bubbles. Um, mm. From the car park to the peak is only... It took us an hour, but we really took the scenic route. Like, yeah. you could easily do it in half an hour. Yeah. Um, yeah, we walked the around the, like, native tree... Um, Arboretum, yeah. 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 and doubled yeah. back on some stuff to see it again and like yeah yeah indeed so there's a bunch of different there's four different trails here we yeah. took the blue route yeah uh, if you are taking the blue route and you make it up to the peak um the next section back to the car park is slightly less accessible and a little bit more yeah like muddy and slippy so if you're a little bit you know less able for that kind of thing mm. um you can also just turn around and go back the way you came yes um the view up there is incredible for for such a low for point for 278 meters 268 meters like yeah. i've genuinely been up taller mountains like properly tall mountains that didn't feel as tall as <laughs> this one does you get an incredible view it looks really really great mm. if you catch it at sunset or sunrise because you can see both kind of yeah. directions it, yeah it just looks great yeah. it looks really really good and then around you is like a sea of the tops of the trees mm. um so yeah. you can see just like the crown of the fire it just looks great yeah. it looks really really good yeah um yeah i really like the second half the trails are very like pretty yeah like, yeah kinda, yeah 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 flowy. a little bit less um developed polished, yeah yeah polished developed yeah. yeah um, um like both sides are really nice like none of it felt like tarmac like yeah it, it was all a walk exactly yeah. you felt like you were out outside yeah. the whole time it doesn't feel like you're kind of mm. on like a guided tour <laughs> or so like you know yeah, yeah. you're not like sitting in one of those little uh tourist train thingies yeah like it it feels like you're out in the forest going for a walk yeah. Um, even, yeah, uh, it's, it's really good, yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Um, so I think among the most accessible high points out there, yeah. um, but and well worth it. Yeah, and among the most scenic of the low high points as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's a dog. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. The car park's just there, so. <coughs> Indeed. See you in our next exciting video. One thing I really wanted to call out, you cannot see me. One thing I really wanted to call out though is that this um, this recreational forest has specifically got access for all paths, um, which is a wider tarmac path that uh, is about the right dimensions for wheelchairs. Um, and it's very accessible to people who maybe have a harder time walking. Um, it's quite close to the car park it's nice and easy to get to um but you have like it snakes around so you've got this it, it feels really like a forest walk here even though it's it's next to the car park um and i just really wanted to call it out i thought it was a really great thing for them to have um so also really great for that i mean what a gorgeous little spot <laughs> points we've done so far, this is the one I'm most likely to come back to soonest. It's just gorgeous. I did get a new jacket. <laughs> In your signature colour? Indeed. 